Hello and welcome back to RC Model Reviews, another really quick video because the last video I posted where I showed you how I make the little ping pong ball protector for the circularly polarized antenna, a lot of people asked about this coax I'm using, this cable, because traditionally, you know, people have used this cable here for antennas. You notice it's quite thin and it is springy, so you can't really sort of bend it. It won't stay in shape. It will straighten itself out most noticeably. So what do you do if you want one of those cool antennas that just stays bent when you bend it? Well, obviously you've got to use a different sort of coaxial cable and the cable I'm using is this one. And as you can see, it comes in a little hank of cable. You can buy this on eBay. It's really cheap. I think it's about a dollar a foot or something silly like that. Maybe two dollars a foot, I don't know. But it's really cheap and it's a great cable for making FPV antennas, circularly polarized FPV antennas, because it when you bend it, it stays bent. Look, here we go. You can straighten it out, you can bend it, and it stays that way. That's just brilliant. So for antennas, it's ideal, whether it's for your goggles or for your model, this is great stuff. Now, the other benefit of this stuff is that when you want to put your connectors on, you can solder them. Or if you live in America, you can solder them. It's your choice. Um, whereas previously, if you've got the, uh, the other cable, you have to use either pigtails that are already, excuse me while I ferret around here, pigtails that are already connected to a piece of coax, so you have to buy the pig, pigtail and cut it in half, which is expensive, or you're going to buy yourself one of these. It's a crimping tool, so you can actually crimp, because when you buy these packets of stuff, they come with the little crimp sleeves there. And I'll do a video, someone asked me to do a video showing how you crimp this cable, uh, this thinner cable, and I'll do that if people want it. But this one, you just solder, get your soldering iron out and solder it. It's a piece of cake. I'll do a video on that as well if people want it. Um, and as I say, all this stuff is cheap as beans on eBay. No problems at all. Uh, so you can save yourself a fistful of money and get a really good result because sometimes you only want a short antenna, sometimes you want a long one. It's really a choice that you can make. So there you can see, there's the coax cable. It's got a braid on the outside and it has a inner cable there. So this braid here is actually, it doesn't fray like the braid on the other coaxes. It's really, really good. And one thing you'll notice when you compare this to the other cable that um, we use, it's actually a bit thicker. It's actually, we're trying to get this lined up. There you go. It's actually a bit thicker than the other cable and it's actually a lower loss. So in theory, using this uh, silver cable, you won't waste as much power from your video transmitter. You won't lose as much signal from your receiver antenna. But in reality, the difference is so small as to be negligible. But there you go. That's the uh, coax cable you can buy on eBay. Really cheap and use it for your um, FPV antennas.